Tired of the everyday grind? Ever dream of a life of romantic adventure? Want to get away from it all? We offer you... Escape. Escape, designed to free you from the four walls of today for a half hour of high adventure. You are hiding, crouched waist deep in the murky waters of a Louisiana bayou, while closing in on you, coming towards you through the night, is a lusting mob screaming for your life. Listen now as Escape brings you William Frug's unusual story, The Lou Garou. day today. Uh, oui. You shrimp nets, Phil? Where is Marie? Marie? Oui. Where is your daughter, Marie? Oh. He's delivering some medicine to Brother Coxie. He don't feel well today. You mean he's drunk? Mm. I wish to talk to you uh, about Marie. Yes, Gus? You have heard the village talk? No. I am worried for her. Worried? Why? Oh, she's been seen again on the levees with the stranger. Oh? Uh-huh. I didn't know. Uh, there is bad talk about the stranger. What do they say? Oh, uh, it is bad talk, Monsieur Legrand. Tell me, Gus. Tell me. They say the stranger has killed Pierre's baby. Pierre? Mm -hmm. Gus. I know the bayous, monsieur. Strange things happen. But this thing, this thing is just... No, no, I don't believe it. It is not what you believe, but what the others believe. Oui. Oui, that is true. I have come to warn you. About my Marie? She is young and pretty and headstrong. I would not like to see her harmed. Now I have warned you, Monsieur Legrand. We cannot protect this stranger. But, uh, Marie... Oui, oui. Oui, oui, Gus, I... I will tell Marie... Come soon. Hey, what does want? I do not know. They say it is important. Mm. Uh, to be a pilot, well, that is life. No, not you, Taco. You smell too much like shrimp. What is wrong with the shrimp? Well, pilots smell like hair tonic. There's a big difference. My cousin is pilot. Mm. He go on the boat to New Orleans every month. Well, I've been to New Orleans. Pilots, smart fellows, Willie. They make big money. Yeah. <laughs> I get there plenty of women, I bet. Yeah, plenty of everything mm. to be a pilot. <laughs> that is a lot. Yeah. Oh, here come Gus. Oh. Bonjour. Hey, hello, uh, Gus. Hi, my Gus. Uh, uh, where's the wine? Ah, mosquitoes. Here, I, I have some wine. Ah, orange wine. It is good orange wine. I make it myself. Hey, will you drink this? I'm used to better. Hey, taco, give it to me. I ain't so particular. 
<clears throat> I... I just come from uh, Pierre's house. Uh, how is little Trapper? Oh, you're angry. Very angry. Why, well, what's the matter? Ain't he getting enough for his muskrat? His baby is dead. Dead? Oui. Oh, he got 11 more. Oh, I'm sorry for Pierre. He was swamp fever. Oh, do not be so sure. What do you mean, Gus? There are other ways for babies to die. What you getting at? Taco. Yes, Gus? You have seen the um, stranger? The tall one, quiet one. Uh, we... Hey, I seen him. Walking down the lever the night with your gal, Marie. I warn you. Hey. Uh, I have seen him, Gus. Girl's baby took sick the night the stranger come. Huh? Eh, oui, that is right. Uh, that was the, the same night I lose my car, remember? We all looked. I uh, remember well. The car just disappeared. The night the stranger come. Eh? Hey, the night he come, an uh, animal disappear. The baby get sick. There is only one way this can happen. Hey, I seen a ghost once in the swamp. This stranger, he live in the swamp. The animal disappear, baby die. Oh. What evil creature can do this, Taco? Huh? What evil creature? Loup Caro. Werewolf. Lugaru. Mm. Gus, what will we do? We are in danger. Well, we do one thing. We fix him before he fix us. There. Oh. Hello, Marie. You come to see me, no? I come to buy me some salt. Oh, we have salt. Marie? Marie, we have a customer. Oh, you're here. Oui, Papa. It, it's Deb. Mm-hmm. Come to buy me some salt. Uh, Papa, Zeb's from Mississippi. It's hot there, too. Isn't it, Zeb? I don't mind it, none. You, uh, like the bayous, Mr. Zeb? I reckon. Bayous got strange ways. Zeb's gonna be a big farmer someday, Papa. He's learning to grow things in the swamps. In the swamps? <laughs> Here's your salt, Mr. Zeb. Good day. D don't you want me to pay you? Just put your money on the counter. Thank you. Jim? Y yes, sir? Uh, we walk again on the levee? Well, I... Can I? I, I reckon... Marie. Yes, yeah, Papa. I don't like this. But why, Papa? This Zeb. He's a stranger here. He don't understand the bayous. Then I teach him. There's talk. What kind of talk? Gus. He come to see me. Why don't you like Gus no more? I like Zeb. Gus is word for you. He says the village don't like Zeb. Oh, Gus is jealous. Well, there are others. They all say Zeb is evil. I don't believe it. Marie. Marie, honey, I know these people. I know the Delta. You gotta promise me you won't see this Zeb again. <laughs> My 
baby's dead. I am sorry, Pierre. And you saw him near your cabin the night the child took sick. Did you not, Pierre? We uh, saw him with the girl, Marie, with the daughter of the storekeeper, I'm sure. He was with Marie. See, I thought that she no, was... No, never a... mind that. You saw the stranger, Pierre, huh? We. Oui. But there. Uh, what have I told you? Because she's right. Maybe we ought to ask Marie. No, she is a child. She does not know about these things. Yeah, but see how you and her... You shut up! up. Oh. Marie... No, he is nothing to me. It, it, it is the stranger we must think of. The gosh, is right. Stranger? He's killed my baby. Oh, we waste no more time talking. Come. We get the others. Like you, Zeb? Yeah. I can't see like you used to. Getting dark out. Yeah. It's uh, me, Brother Coxie. Now, ain't you going to ask me in? Yeah, come on in. Ah, nice, cozy place you got here. Thank you. Got any liquor? Reckon not. <laughs> Lucky I brought some. Want to pull? No, thank you. Excuse me, then. I, I come to, to talk to you, Zeb. Yeah? It's trouble, Zeb. Bad trouble. Been brewing a long time. Why are you telling me? Brother Cox is your friend. I come to warn you, son. I don't need no warning. Then you hear it? Reckon I did. What you gonna do? Ain't gonna do nothing. Yep. This ain't no ordinary trouble. The crops is bad. There ain't been no rain. The people are stirred up. This is my land. I aim to stay on it. He that is surety for a stranger shall smart for it. That's from the Bible, Old Testament. Proverbs. I'd don't care what the Bible says. This is my cabin. Zeb, they don't want your cabin. Then what do they want? Son, you listen to Brother Coxie. I come here 47 years ago. I come to do good and preach the word of the Lord. And I come with nothing but the shirt on my back and the good book in my hand. I can't read no book. There's good people here. But they got their ways. What kind of ways? They got their notions... Zeb, you ever heard of the Fou Folle? Uh, ain't never. Ain't nothing but swamp gas. Little pockets of gas that explode in the swamps. Folks down here figure that there's evil spirits. When they see them, they just naturally got to start running. Uh, I've I seen them. And it's the same way with the spirits. Ghosts. Zombies. Uh, I've I never seen them. Folks in the bayous have. What's that got to do with me? You ever hear tell of a Lou Garou? No. Spirit that can change himself into an animal. What kind of animal? Any kind, feels like. Horse, dog, cow, anything. Is there such a thing? Oh, sure, say it is. Lou Garou kills people. Hope I don't ever see one. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. You got to believe in him first. I, I don't know. Suppose you was one of them. What? Me? Just fool. I don't know. That's why you got to leave this place. You, you talk crazy, Brother Coxie. You drunk? Maybe. You you better get. Zeb, folks is saying that you're a Lou Guru. Brother Coxie, you better get. Zeb, listen to I, me. I ain't much for books. I, I, I'm just a farmer. I come here for a place of my own. I don't like crazy talk. Son, this ain't crazy. Get. Wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. That's book talk again. Matthew said. Get. Just this once, Zeb. Just this once, listen to me. 
You're in terrible trouble. I can take care of myself. And I ain't moving off my land. Now you get it. We will return to Escape and tonight's story, The Lou Garou, in just a moment. Tomorrow night, don't miss William Holden as a hero beneath the seas in Lux Radio Theater's stirring adaptation of the screenplay Submarine Command. And now, back to Escape. I'm just closing the store. Never mind, store come at once. Where? The orange packing shed. There is big meeting tonight. What meeting? The village. All village. You must come. Why? The stranger. We get the stranger. He has killed Pierre's baby. We must save the village. Ah, go on without me. It is better you come. Hmm? Yeah. Maybe it is better I come. Hurry, Lita. Papa, what is it? What Taco say? Not for you. It's about Zeb. Yeah, Zeb. The village is against him? Yeah. What's he done to them? Well, he, he's a stranger. They're feared of him. There's more. Papa, tell me. Well, they... They, they all say he killed Pierre's baby. Papa. I don't believe him. Papa, you will help him. I'm only one voice. Then you must go at once. We. Oui. I'll try. Papa. Huh? Yes? Do you believe Zeb the evil? I don't know. He's not, Papa. I swear. You love Zeb? We. Oui. I love him. Then I trust what you say. Stop him. You must stop him. Yeah, I'll go. Now, there's danger here, Marie. You stay inside and lock the doors and windows. I'll go to there. No, no, Marie. You must not go there. Go to there. Marie. Marie. Come back. Come back. Stoke. My baby lies dead. There must be justice. Kill the Lugaru. That's justice. Oh, wait. No, stop. Stop. We, we hear all the evidence. Is there any other who wishes to speak? I wish to speak, Monsieur Goss. Huh? Oh, Monsieur Legrand. Oh, speak. I have lived in the bayous many years. This is my home. I've seen things I can't explain. Strange little lights in the swamps, the animals who disappear without trace, the men who suddenly die without reason. These things I can't explain. And I've seen a stranger who calls himself Zeb. And I say to myself, is this man evil? Or do I fear this man because he's a stranger? And the answer is yes. I love talking about that. Well, the answer is yes. The answer is yes, I fear this man because I don't know him. And that's the only reason. Enough. 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 We have heard, Monsieur Legrand. There will be swamp justice. We do not kill. We tie the Lugaru to the stake and let the mosquitoes and the tapanos be the executioners. Yeah, right. Justice for the Lugaru! Look not thou upon the wine when it is red, when it giveth this color in the cup, 
At the last, it biteth like a serpent and stingeth like an adder. <laughs> Proverb 23. You're drunk, Brother Coxie. Drunker than alligator in an oyster bed. You better leave. Drunker than a drum fish in a shrimp net. You better go home. Ah. Ain't you ever going to get some sense, boy? Home is where the bottle is. The bottle's empty. <laughs> so it is, so it is. Forty-seven years in the bayous and the bottle is always empty. You try, son. You try your almightiest and they just don't listen. You try and you pray that the wrath of God will show them and they just don't listen. Uh, well, 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 they're here. Your company's here, Sam. They can come. And open that door, boy, and you sign your death warrant. I can take care of myself. Dad! Zip. What are you doing here? Zip, we must go at once. I'm staying. Zip, they're coming to kill you. I got a gun. The whole village, Zip. In the multitude of counselors, there is safety. You shut up. Zip, Gus is bringing the village to kill you. They say you're a Lugaru. I don't know no Lugaru. It's not true, Zip. I know it's not true. Maybe it is. You better get. I will not leave without you. Maybe I'm what they say I am. I, I don't know. You're not, Zip. It's Gus. He's made them this way. He's made them angry. You better get. I may hurt you like I hurt the others. Brother, help me. <laughs> Love is the strongest death. Jealousy is the I beg you. I plead with you. Leave before you kill. Leave for my sake. What? For, for your sake? For me, Zeb. For Marie. Zeb. Zeb. Drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake. Timothy 3. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, all right. All right, I'll go. Oh, creature, in the swamp. You're going to see us in the darkness. If the blind lead the blind bulls fall into the ditch, Matthew 14. I'm coming with you. This way. I'll lead the way. I'm coming with you. Oh, we'll, we'll wait for Brother Cox. We can't wait, sir. Brother Cox. Where is our ghost? I will go. I, but I think I'll nap a little bit. Zeb, we can't wait. All right, follow me. Zeb, I'm with you, Zeb. Oh, it's no use. Zeb, please. Maybe they're right. They're not right, Zeb. Hey, we're gaining. Maybe I ought to give up, huh? I can't find you. You swamp, Zeb. Hurry. Marie. Marie. There's no matter. You go without me. What? You cut your leg. Go without me, Zeb. It's your life. Oh, There's no use running now. Zeb, have you a match? What? A match? Quickly. Here, to me. It's our only chance. Here. Yeah, yeah. 
You're not hurt. Papa. Gus. He's dead. I killed him. Gus came with a knife. He tried to kill them. I see. The others. They're gone. We. They've gone. Will they come looking for us? No. They fear the evil swamp spirit. Can we go back now, Papa? Yes. Gus was the evil spirit. And the Lou Guru is dead. Under the direction of Norman MacDonald, Escape has brought you The Lou Garou by William Frug, starring Bill Conrad with John Daner, Georgia Ellis, and Forrest Lewis. Featured in the cast were Tom Tully, Lou Krugman, Jack Crucian, and Don Diamond. Editorial supervision is by John Meston, and the special music for Escape is composed and conducted by Leif Stevens. Next week. <laughs> You are standing alone and trembling in an ancient cathedral while outside somewhere in the night is the stranger who's been stalking you, seeking out your life. So listen next week when Escape brings you Kathleen Height's strange tale of adventure, Transport to Terror. <laughs> Agnes Moorhead, the first lady of suspense, makes her 19th starring appearance tomorrow night on CBS Radio Suspense. Don't miss Agnes Moorhead in Death and Miss Turner tomorrow night over most of these same CBS radio stations. Stay tuned now for Robert Trout and the News, which follows immediately over most of these same stations. Roy Rowan speaking, and remember, you're invited to Art Linkletter's house party every weekday on the CBS radio network.